Welcome to American Front Porch, Mid-Americana and Acoustic Traditions with Swamp Weiss and Video Bob Whiteside. Outsider art. Outsider art? Yeah. with a lot of different effects. If, um, for example, if you put a little distortion on it and you switch it over to the, the core side, then you can really tell how it holds a chord out as long as you want it to. Which I like doing that, you know, to build up a song or just to add, it's almost like a, a string section, you know, it's like a, bow, a bowing effect that you can get from that side of the slide, which I really like. So you can do things like that that you couldn't do with any other slide because you can't usually switch a slide over it's like having two slides on the
Hey, hey, this is this is Russ Wellington. Hey, how's it going? And this is Swamp okay, Russ. Explain to me why you like three strings better than four string on these things. I, I like the three strings. They're to me they're easier to play. And my intonation on anything that I have built that has a fretboard is has never been quite a hundred percent correct. Uh huh. So. Yeah, I bet I bet that's the challenge. That is absolutely the, getting the, 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 challenge. the tone right. accuracy. Right. So, so that's like you'll see that there's some of them without the fretboards. And man, that's that to me. That's the beauty. Just yeah, you could uh, put some little uh, stick-on dots or something if you're sure. really worried about it. Sure. Yeah. You can find you can find where you're supposed to be on those things if you've been playing a little bit, right? This is uh, the, the Joe Camel, huh? Yeah, the Joe Camel. Now, that fretboard was taken from, I think, possibly an old Squire. So I would but don't just... smoke, kid. Yeah, don't smoke. <laughs> yeah, but well, that's a, that's a 22 fret neck. It, it, that might have been a Strat copy. Yeah, I think it is. More a like a copy. They, they do make 22 fret Squires, but they're more okay. expensive. And okay. A little special order. Yeah. Oh, this one, this Barnwood box. Yeah. That's what, do you have a name for this? I don't have a name for that one right there yet. Barney. It's, yeah, Barney. Yeah. It's a William Penn. It's the old William Penn Oh, box. yeah, the William Penn. Right. So I think you, there's a picture of William Penn, I believe, on the, on the back of the... Let's see. Okay, let's, dem let's demonstrate that one for me. What do you think? Play a lick or two. Oh, I have a, a slide here handy. Go ahead and plug it in. Slide, yeah, there you go. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll, 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 we'll give it a whirl. Hey, don't be glib. <laughs> what is that? What does that mean? But oh yeah, you do a three. That's yeah. for a fourth finger slide. Yeah, I usually use a um, glass. Wow, so you like the three string though because of? I just seems like it's a lot easier to play to me. For sure. It's the same tuning though. Or just this missing. This is a D A D. So I'm not sure what you do on a four string. Well, it's a it's a guitar. You have the uh, the option of the. Strings one through four or two through five. Right, right. So I think these are D A D. Right. I think I think that thing muddy myself. Yeah, <laughs> muddy. It, it it is. It's a bassy, muddier sound. Yeah. <laughs> Channel 5, but they, they didn't interview too much. They were no. interested in Russell. Yeah, they Russ did all the playing, so they talked to him a little more. But Yeah. Now, this this is an amazing... Uh, I mean, it, it this is for heavy metal, right? Yeah, that's what we call the electric skillet. Wow. Out of the frying pan and into the ear. Uh, Okay, so uh, I mean, this is also the old cookie, the Christmas cookie tin that nobody wants to throw away, but they're not sure what to do with it. Right, that's a Courier Knives Christmas cookie tin that we made a five-string banjo out of. That oh, that is a five-string banjo. Five-string banjo, oh, yes, sir. Cool for one hundred and fifty dollars. Don't you want two of them? Oh man, yeah. Where, where's my friend at? He's a he's a, a good banjo man. player. Yeah. Um, so let's see, what's this? Um, some, oh, that's a baking uh, yeah, roasting a pan. Chicken roaster. Play some chicken skin music, right? There you go. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, okay, these are beautiful, more traditional cigar box theme. Okay. Right, I've got, I've got them at like a one string base. We got your old fashioned six string, uh, a lot of three strings. Um, this is really a kind of a nice sculpture you hear. Uh, yeah, that's a, a tricone setup. Uh, the cones are made from the bottom of a soup can. The, the cones are made from the bottom of the soup can, yeah. and uh, this connects them sonically. Is right, that? right. It, it's attached with the screw through the bottom. Uh, the uh, license plate uh, theme. Uh, I know some of the guys use Mississippi to get back to the Delta origin right, and stuff. Right. But you go with just uh, whatever plate strikes somebody's fancy. Well, most of mine are Missouri because that's where we are. Oh, and uh, I've got one here. For the bicentennial oh, yes, for the, the old city of St. Louis. That is a graphically yeah. nice plate. Right. Well, just a plate alone is worth some money. Right. That's actually a pretty collectible thing. Um, so what got you into this? Where did you first find out about these? I started out building the mountain dulcimer. Building what? The mountain dulcimer. Oh yeah. And yeah. they're just a lot of work to build. Yeah. A lot of detail type well, stuff. You have to be careful, and it has to be perfect. Yeah. And... So I wanted something that's a little more fun, a little easier to build. Okay. And I got on the internet, and I found these, and I tried one, and next thing you know, I got all this. Oh, what, what's this resonator? See, you get inspired for all these little methods. Is that a bathroom drain? That's yeah, a bathroom drain. I bought it at the Home Depot. Wow. That is so beautiful when you look at it. They also yeah. have a gold one. A gold it's one. It's even nicer, yeah. Wow. Okay, this is a... That's just a screen sound hole cover. The one next to it has the chrome version. Yeah, so those are just a music supply generic thing. I actually uh, got those through a company called cbgiddy.com. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm loving the yardstick. Yeah, I get it. Idea. Just, uh, a cheap, easy yardstick. So it's a it's a fretless, but you can actually remember where your your sonic points are, your tonal yeah, points are. Yeah, by the measurements. Oh, I gotta do that. I've gotta try this myself. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, no. Now I was gonna ask you about your kits over here. How you guys doing? Break it on this. So. You, you are actually uh, encouraging people to try building these your, themselves. Yeah, they might as well learn to build while they're here. That way they can have their own inexpensive guitar. Well, really, it's well, here's, a, here's the neck. So, I mean, this is, after all, that's the hard part, right? Yeah, this is the neck. Some of them have the fretboards already installed. Some of them don't have the fretboards on them. They're more of a slider guitar. Right. For simple, basic, basic beginner type stuff. And so these these are a basic cigar box uh, yeah, you motif. Have your, Nobody's getting real innovative with no, these. No, uh, they're just an expensive box that anybody can get. And you can make a resonator out of any metallic round object. This is actually the bottom of a tin can. What you hammered this out? I then? hammered the shape into it and put a few holes in it for the volume increase and uh, hit it with the torch to give it that blue color. It's really nice. It's, it's really sculptural looking, and it, right, right. it looks like it might have fallen out of an alien ship that was passing there you by. Go, yeah. yeah, so uh, how much are the necks anyway? I don't sell them individually. I sell them as kits. Oh, you kits. sell the whole thing as yeah, a kit. Yeah, the kits start at $25. Well, that's reasonable yeah. enough. That's for the fretless, I for guess. That, that's for the fretless. Oh, and you get a cigar box with that? Just like you see right there. That's the kit assembled. Wow, you can't beat that. And then we have the fretted kit. That's uh, 45, and then I mean 35, and then the resonator kit is 45. There's no four-string kit, so. I don't have any four-string kits now. Cigar box has always traditionally been a three-string. Well, speaking of mountain dulcimers, uh, here's a, a diddly box, I guess yeah, you'd call this that. Yeah, huh? uh, what they call a lap diddly bow. You play it on your lap. Uh -huh. It's a, a one-string bass. It's got the pickup in it for the bass. But I also put a little resonator well, on Well, thanks, it. Gary. Thank you. And uh, you got to talk a little more than you did on Channel 5. Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, let me, uh, what's your name? Rob. Rob? Loby. Loby, okay. Uh, are you selling these things, apparently? Yeah. We're, uh, Do you have a website or something? We've got a website called uh, Artworks That Work. Artworks That Work. Okay. Uh, tell me about this Day of the Dead axe you got over here. This here? Yeah. This is a style that I come up with. I just had some uh, wood laying around, so I just cut a acoustic style out and then uh, had 
got no really, idea. Really, that's not a modified guitar. You just sort of made that out of stuff, huh? Yeah, I just cut that out of some boards I had, and then I put dowel rods in between each of the boards to make it oh. look like an acoustic body. Oh, yeah. And then I interwove uh, yarn in there to give it a color, and then I added in this eye. I found out that I could actually do pictures with it, too, so I started doing that. Oh, yeah. Well, the, the coffin on the pickup is just tremendous. And, you know, it, it just reminds you, it looks like something you'd see on a, on a, a bus in Mexico uh, headed for the Day of the Dead celebration. Right. Yeah. That's, uh, that's very cool. Hey, this bass, uh, an upright cigar box bass. And is yeah. this the first and only one I've ever seen? I mean, does anybody else made these? Or? I haven't seen any around, and it just told me to make it that big. I was kind of thinking a little bigger to do the cigar box style, but... It was telling me just make it that big, so I did that. And so you just designed the box and decided to go with the Ace of Skulls there. Yeah. And the door knocker is, I mean, I mean, you can sort of All right. emphasize the tempo with that, I guess. <laughs> what's what's this uh, art? That's a uh, Rumluck. That's a band that I make. Oh. What's the name of the band? Rumluck. Rumluck. Oh, Rumluck. Okay. Beware, no doubt. Are you a bass player in the band? Or? Right, right. Okay, uh, have you ever played this on stage? I played it for like one song and then uh, I got to fix it up a little bit. It's it's wanting the feedback and I got to well, take, yeah. take the lows out. Cause <laughs> I can believe that. <laughs> it shakes the whole room like crazy. So. Oh man, I guess. I had, uh, that is some tailpiece you got. got to get it there. back to uh, practice and get it fine-tuned in before I get out there again with it. Yeah, you're going to have to find some way to dampen it down a little bit. Well, that's pretty amazing. I know a lot of guys would like to try their hand at that. Uh, and show you're, you're ready for lunch. Okay, and get some Red I, House food. I also make the uh, incense holders, and then I just use a little clothesline pin for it, and then I just decorated it up. I think it was around Christmas. And then I was selling them at This Christmas. is some great outsider art. Are you a fan of uh, that whole movement? Do you, you know about that? Outside art? Outside no. art? Darren Dukes. Love the shirt. Thanks. Uh, okay, you have a website we'll, we'll put over the, the screen. And uh, you sell just the necks. Uh, we do necks and the guitars as well, full built guitars. Um, we sell basically anything you'd need to build a cigar box guitar, but our specialty is kind of the necks. But these are beautiful necks, and you make these? Yes. Um, a lot of guys are intimidated by doing the fret work themselves. Um, and so we, we kind of help builders get over that hump, or it's a time saving even for builders that could, could do their own. Well, it's like I have an idea for a, for a body, but right. doing the neck is just more time than I want to put into it. It is. It's a lot of work, um, and we do enough of it, and we've kind of got a formula. You know, they're all certain sizes and scales, and so when we, we do them, we, for the most part, mass produce them. Yeah. And, uh, you know, when you do something in bulk like yeah, but, that, it but saves time. Yeah, but you have time. to have a handmade look, and the, yeah, the, sure. the wood choices and the grain is, is really spectacular yeah. in some of these. And that the, the beauty of the way we do it is we can offer a, a high quality hardwood neck with you know the variety of woods. Yeah, well, like and what wood is this? Is that like cypress? This is zebra or wood on the zebra wood. on the headstock, and then uh, blood wood on the on the uh, fingerboard. Awesome. And I, I mean, I don't use that word like a teeny bopper. Yeah, it's a very, very nice. Get a few then. Let me just cut through here. Um, okay, what other parts do you sell? Um, we've got like tuning pegs and uh, like the volume pots. Um, oh, yeah. I don't have any here with me, but we usually will have strings, you know, and stuff. Yeah, and where are you located? Over in Illinois, about an hour east of St. Louis. Yeah, that's where I live. Where? Uh, Irvington. In where? Irvington, Irving. south of Centralia. Oh, south of, south of Centralia. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're up or closer to Greenville. Okay, yeah. But uh, still, just uh, knowing that uh, we could uh, kind of drop down and get the parts. Yeah. And... yeah Very we cool. Can, can get you set up. And uh, that's where your shop is down there? Yeah. Um, we're, I got a little... 
it's just a garage, it's a you know, garage I do operation. It still part time. I've done it full time before in the past, but uh -huh. uh, it's just kind of a part time hey, thing now. It's a beauty guitar. Is that a Schachter kind of a thing, or is it, did the, you build that, or the Les Paul? Yeah, yeah, I, that one and the Stevie Ray. Uh, yeah, well, clone. I, I, did that one. I like that. It, that's a what twenty two fret. Yeah. Yeah. It's basically uh, patterned off of like a 59 Les Pauls, the, the setup. Yeah. Whoa, that's sweet. I like that. How much you, uh, how, how many, well, is this a one-off or uh, yeah. do you make these every now and then? Yeah, or? I'll do uh, maybe a half dozen six-string guitars a year. Oh, that many? Um, you know, and I usually build them for myself, and then after I've played them a while, they find new homes. Uh, that's beauty wood, and uh, I like the retro knobs, and it's it's, it's gorgeous. Uh, how much do you get for something like that? That um, probably about six hundred bucks. No shit. Yeah. Wow. wow that's um, cheaper than a Schecter. And... Yeah, you know, and I, I put quality stuff into them, but that's that covers my parts. You know, wow. I build it, play it for me, and then. At some point, you know. Hey, if I hit it lucky, I'm going to buy one from <laughs> of you, man. I, sure. I like it. And uh, you're, these are these sort of have a commercial look to them. Uh, they almost look, you know, uh, manufactured. Well, and that's not a bad thing. They just they just look well made. Or something. Well, I've been really, doing it for about eight years, so really, you know, I, I like to call it an artful science. You know, I mean, it's very meth methodical, and you know. The sizes that we make things, um, a lot of patterns and templates, but it, it helps us keep it, you know, reasonable. What What about the retro amps? I mean, do you do you build those or are they? Um, this one I took a, a little five watt tube amp that was uh, had a yeah a small speaker Practice in it, amp, and yeah. it sounded okay. But I, I built a new cabinet for it and put yeah. a nice speaker, you know. Yeah, where where would you even speaker. get a strap like that? Uh, it, just off of an old amp that didn't work. Is know? that right? Yeah. Right. Nice looking strap. Yeah, and it, it's got a great looking or a great sound to it, you know. You guys are really artists. You know, you really are. But uh, I thank you for the interview. I, I like no what you're doing here. Thanks. It's, it's great. Thank yeah. you. Hi, I'm Retro Al, Alan Palermo with Retro Al Scarbox Guitars. Uh, this is a steampunk version guitar that I made with Al the steampunk design. Used copper tubing and all that to give it with the compass, and this is a uh, actually metal plate there with things that I kind of gave it the antique look, but it's electric. You can play it as a regular guitar as well. It's a, oh, it's a fretting guitar too. Yeah, standard fretted guitar, tuned in open chord, three string like most of the cigar box, so uh -huh. it's kind of old style beats new style, we'll say. Yeah. Steampunk. Pretty nice. Now, and I ask you uh, about price and these things on all these cigar box gu guitars seem to be a nebulous price scale on these well, things. Well, my guitar is like, on um, this one, this is a $100 instrument. Most of those over there are in the $150 to $100 price. I do have one over there that's sixty dollars it doesn't have frets on it uh -huh. that's a sixty dollar it's but it is electric and you can play it mainly oh, really? with a slide sixty bucks and you get the pickup and everything. oh yeah you get the pickup and everything nice. yeah you go with three strings again uh, uh three and four strings some of the guys do four yeah and some do three and the ones up there are four i you know it just depends on what style you like and you, you have a little more versatility with a four string but the three string I, I kind of like in certain ways it's maybe more limited but it actually kind of makes you think differently opens up to play it and it gives you just this old style well it's easier sound. to play and it, it, it sounds more authentic to the to the medium exactly so if you're gonna do it more For telling us about your uh, your steampunk thank you masterpiece all right and your name sir video bomb <laughs> nice.